Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. It's Kim Jefferson here, the Fabulous Fit Squad. And today I wanted to talk about a topic that seems to be coming up a lot with um, some of my clients. And they talk to me about never being satisfied. You know, I eat something and I'm not satisfied. And so what I want to share with you, that's an emotional thing. It's not food. It's not that you're not finding the right foods. That's a possibility. Correction, there is a possibility. But a lot of it comes to do with your emotional state at the time that you're eating your food. And even though you might not think you're someone who's an emotional eater, there is some level of an emotion that's happening when we do eat. So one of the things, you know, as you're going through these questions yourself, is I ask you, you know, we give ourselves mixed signals sometimes. So if you are someone who doesn't eat in regular intervals. So you, I call it disordered eating. So I might eat breakfast at say seven o'clock in the morning and then my day happens and I might not eat anything till two or three in the afternoon. And then my day happens again and I might not eat again till eight or nine at night. So what's happening to your body is it's holding on to every bit of food that you're giving it. And it's just, I'm starving. So it's just gonna always want to eat and eat and eat and eat because they don't know when the next meal's coming because your food is so all over the map. The other thing is processed foods. So many of us are busy and we're on the go and we just grab crap. And if I'm eating fast food, if I'm eating processed clean foods, if I'm eating anything that has uh, high sugar content, high fat content, it's going to want me to want more because I'm not, I'm not satiating my body with true food. So if we're eating out of vending machines, we're relying on uh, things that are coming out of a, you know, a, a bag or a package, we're not going to continue to feel satisfied. So we're always going to want more and more and more and more. The other thing is maybe we eat too fast. I know I'm, I'm a fast eater and I have to be conscious of just not, you know, reading my email or being on Facebook. I have to be focused on eating my meal or I'll eat it and I'll be like, what happened? Oh, did I eat? So, you know, there's a, a school of thought that I should take a bite and put my fork down, take another and chew it, swallow it, take another bite, put my fork down so that my brain registers that I ate. The other thing is, you know, maybe there you do have, a, you are someone who has had eating disorders in the past, either fully diagnosed or you just recognize you had some challenges around food. And so that, that brain stomach connection has been altered in some way or form. And that's keeping you from feeling satisfied or, you know, you're just so stressed out right now that you're just eating and eating and eating because there's something missing right now and food is trying to fill that hole. So there's a number of different things that could cause you to get to that state of never feeling satisfied. What I want to share with you right now is here, this is hard work. And I, and I know that some of you aren't going to want to do the work, but trust me, when you do the work, you'll identify what's going on with you and you become more of a detective. And when you become a detective, you're able to figure out the foods that trigger you to be in that unsatisfied state. You're able to figure out what emotional states put you into that state of, I can't get enough, I can't eat enough, so that you don't feel like there's something continually wrong with you. I have created a action guide that you can download that can help you understand, you know, what your emotions are around food. So uh, click the link right below and you can grab that free action guide. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely shoot me an email. I am here to help you. I totally know that this isn't something that um, goes away overnight. Have an amazing Friday. 